Cool guys, let's get into it. Let's talk about partnership. Today is the 11th of August, Two Diamonds Day, Joe Rogan's birthday today. It's combination of Saturn and Mars. Very heavy, irritable day today. Lots of exercise. Anyway, so just a little information of where I'm coming from today. Partnership. Two of Diamonds, yes. Good day to talk about partnership. Two of Diamonds, two, two people working together for business. Two of Diamonds working together for tangible success. Diamonds, tangible success. Diamonds, I think, are the next level above hearts. They're both red suits. Hearts is of relationship and of gooeyness, and diamonds is of relationship as well, but more tangible uh, rewards. You know, two people working together for physical output. Two hearts is two people working together for this, you know, emotional, wonderful, ooey, gooey experience. Well, diamonds is for money, for for success and values. Anyway, partnership. Yes, partnership. The 11th of August. I think our society is underrating partnership. I think right now there's such a social dysfunction at the moment. Man and woman... Not always man and woman, but any type of relationship is is underutilized. There's a schism. People are not coming together the way they used to. And I think that's by design, by the corrupt cult, culture, cult that we live in. The cult right now is incentivizing individuality, incentivizing people being alone. They're making it not cool. They're making it loathsome to be in a partnership working together. Well, let's counteract that because I think the cult is working to destroy us. So partnership, the value, the value of partnership is so useful. Let's talk about romantic partnership between two people. Since we've forgotten about the, the, the usefulness of this partnership, you have somebody in your corner. I would think that we need to put all of our... I, I, it baffles me. Why are people not putting all their efforts in finding somebody else that they can partner up with? How come finding partnership is not a top priority at the moment? It is so useful to succeed, to advance, to navigate all this crap that's going on in our lives. Well, like I said, the culture is incentivizing individuality. The culture is making partnership look stupid and, and useless. Well, that's stupid. That's wrong. Let's counteract that. The value of a partnership. You have somebody in your corner to look out for you. You have somebody to 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 support you and to uplift you. You have a shoulder to cry on when you come home from a rough day. You have somebody to rub your feet and rub your back and tell you everything will be all right. You have somebody to inspire you, to encourage you, to educate you, to teach you. To, to, to make dinner for you, to help you pay your bills, to uh, help you understand your body. Intimacy is so useful. It's so healthy for the physical body. Intimacy, touching, exploring, arousing each other in a partnership is so healing and cleaning for the body's nervous system, for the body's functionality. We're going right now, intimacy and, um, you know, any type of sexual contact is at an all time low by design by the culture. And because our interaction with intimacy and, um, you know, any type of second chakra understanding or exploration, the body is suffering. The body needs sexual contact in order to thrive. The body needs sexual contact, healthy, wonderful sexual contact with a trusted partner. The body needs that to thrive. I'm going to be passionate today, guys, because I think we need this passion. This is a useful video. This is inspiring my brothers and sisters to get better. We need partnership. We need people to grow together. We need somebody to get your back, somebody to defend you when you're being attacked, somebody to help you lick your wounds when you come home from a bad day, 
somebody to teach you about things. Partnership is about teaching and obviously doing something for other people as well. So not only do you get from your partnership, but you give to your partnership. You know, you you teach, you help teach your partner to be better. You help inspire your partner to be a better person, to get up tomorrow and try again. You comfort and console another person. So when you do good things for another person, you also receive that in return. What you give is what you get. By taking care of other people, you take care of yourself to a certain extent, of course. So receiving from a partnership is very useful and important. Giving to a partnership is very useful and important. I envision more people in partnerships, we will succeed more in life. Like I said, I'll say more about this. Uh, inspiring, giving, receiving, helping. Uh, you know, two people sharing the rent in an apartment in very expensive cities is a huge boon, is a huge benefit. Two people splitting the costs of life is a huge benefit. One second. What's, what other values of partnership? Laughing, sharing a meal. Sleeping together, cohabitating, intercourse. You know, you learn more when you have close relationships. You learn more about yourself when you can reflect and bounce off close partnerships and relationships with family or significant others. You learn more about yourself. And it is said, it is true, it is said that people evolve and grow faster and more thoroughly in close relationships we can't you don't learn much by yourself you learn much about yourself when you your behaviors and your uh you know the way you are is bounced off another person you can reflect and see who you are based off bouncing off another person another boon another uh great benefit of a partnership life is so difficult at the moment emotionally intellectually physically it is so difficult spiritually why not have somebody that loves you why not have somebody in your corner to support you to support me how why not support somebody else so they can support you i love nothing more than seeing somebody so thankful to have me I love nothing more than to giving to somebody and see them be so thankful to have me as a support system. That is so beautiful to me, to love somebody and have it seen reflected back at me. I'm sure that's the same for everybody. I love nothing more than having a friend or a partner say the right things to me in my life just to bring me out of a stupor, out of a funk. Inspire me to get up and try again. That's so important keep getting warnings on my screen sorry partnership is so valuable it is so valuable during these tough times for all these reasons I've stated and it's such a low priority in our lives we need to get away from that we need to make it a higher priority we need to get out and need to vet and we need to analyze people is this person a potentially good partner for me to to uh, to go out into this world does this person want to help to help grow me? Does this person want to support and help grow me to be a better person? Is this person somebody worthy of me dedicating my time to help support them? When they grow and they excel, are they going to take me with them? I sure hope so. We need to vet. We need to analyze people in our lives. And, and, and hmm. we need to look and, 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 and to see if this person is going to be a valuable partner to us. And then take people on. Try people out. Go on dates. Try this person out. Ooh, this person has good qualities that I admire, that I can learn from, that I can receive from. I've got something worth valuable that they would benefit from. I have attributes that they would enjoy. I have attributes that they want to learn from me. And it's a, it's a, a unified system of back and forth values. Partnership is so important for these things that I'm saying. Let's get on it, friends and family. Let's find partners that we can grow with. Partnership is such a success boon for us during these troubling times.
Start going on more dates. Start looking at people in your life as potential partners. Start mm, vetting, analyzing this person to be a potential partner for me. No, I need to get away from this person. This person is not a great partner. With respect, this person is in a different place. I'm at a different place. We won't jive very well. Oh, this person is going to jive with me very well. Let's, let's dedicate. Let's commit. Let's stop... Being such a McDonald's fast food, uh, one you know, one flaw in them. I see one thing I don't like. Let's get rid of them and try somebody new. Let's. No, I don't like this about them. Let's let's ditch them and see who else we can find. This dating websites. There's so many uh, options that we never settle down and we never really dig, invest. We're learning how to be so superficial. We're so superficial with dating right now because. There's plenty of fish in the effing sea. I don't need to really explore this person very deeply because I have plenty of other people that I can explore. Bullshit. We never learn too much about people like that. We never go on a second date. We never learn how to be easygoing. We never learn, you know, how to work out problems. Oh, the first problem I'm having with this partner, I'm going to break up with them because there's plenty more fish in the sea. We never learn resilience. We never learn how to, uh, you know, overcome obstacles because we're so flighty with this stupid cult we live in. Let's start investing in ourselves more. Let's start investing in partnerships more. Let's start developing ourselves, developing hardiness, developing a rock-hard commitment with somebody, somebody that we can have in our lives that will not run for the hills when something goes bad initially. We need to start developing sincere, deep, deeply rooted partnerships will we'll get us to very, very high successful places, friends and family. Let's do it, guys. Let's empower ourselves. Let's empower other people and, and persevere through these, these terrible times of manipulation from our cult. Awesome, guys. Next time. Let's go.